What do I have to do to get the divorce process started? Hi, I'm Bill Farias, founder of Farias Family Law, and we met with a woman about three weeks ago. She has been married for 15 years, has two children, knows that her marriage is done and that it's not fixable, knows that she is definitively headed toward divorce, but wasn't sure about how she should approach it. So the questions were, should I talk to my spouse about it? Should I just file and get this going? Should I set up a mediation session? And the answer is that you first need to uh, step back and analyze it this way. So I would say, first of all, figure out where you are on the risk spectrum to determine whether you need to talk to an attorney about your divorce. So on one end of the spectrum, you have a very short-term marriage. We had about a year ago, someone who contacted us and she had been married for only six months, had no children, no significant assets. Under those circumstances, it's highly unlikely that you're going to get much value from talking to an attorney. The stakes are really low. If you've only been married for six months and you haven't been living with the person uh, before the marriage for a significant amount of time, chances are you're each going your separate ways and it's just a matter of filling out the paperwork correctly and filing it. On the other end of the spectrum, you have uh, people who have been married for a significant amount of time. They have uh, children. They have significant assets. There is a significant income disparity between the parties. Some people have uh, businesses. So the longer the marriage and the more issues that need to be resolved, the riskier it is to do this on your own and to start making decisions on your own. Even these initial decisions about what to do first. So you need to figure out where you are on that spectrum. And the more risk there is, the more sense it makes to at the very least consult with an attorney who is going to help you come up with a plan and uh, point you in the right direction. You can find an attorney by doing a combination of two things. Number one, you can ask people you trust who uh, themselves have been through a divorce or know people they trust who have been through a divorce to get some recommendations on uh, attorneys that you might be able to use. And the other thing you can do is take advantage of online reviews. It is very difficult for a professional or any kind of business to get away with bad service or putting out bad products these days because chances are someone is going to go online, they're going to complain about it, and they're going to give you the details about what went wrong. So ask people you trust about whether they used a, a divorce attorney and who they know uh, use a divorce attorney. Talk to those people about their experiences and then go online and do some research. Look at the reviews. Go on the attorney's website to get a sense of how they operate, what their philosophy is. So if you are going to contact an attorney, then you want to use your meeting with the attorney to determine whether you feel comfortable with that attorney and with that firm. So this is a combination of, first of all, your gut. Is this somebody that you can trust? And uh, also, along those lines, you want to listen for what the attorney's philosophy is on how to handle cases and what they're going to do for you. So is this an attorney that is looking to uh, complicate things and uh, to potentially just make a lot of money off of your case? Or does it sound like the attorney is trying to get you to the finish line as efficiently as possible and do what's best for you? So ask a lot of questions, uh, listen to your gut, and if you have a higher risk case, then certainly it makes, makes sense to contact an attorney, and do an assessment slash consultation, come up with a plan, and go from there. So uh, what do you do to get your divorce started? The simple answer is you can just go in and file uh, paperwork 
a contested divorce to get the process started. But whether that's the best first move really depends on your circumstances. So an attorney can help you figure out whether you should try to have a meeting first to work out the details, whether mediation would help. Because it is possible if you get um, to a position where everybody's in agreement on all of the issues, you can file uncontested, which is typically a, a smoother and faster process. So uh, talk to an attorney, come up with a plan. The most important thing is to act. Don't bury your head in the sand. Don't hope that your problems uh, go away. So if you feel like you're headed to a divorce, start thinking about these things and take action. If you have any other questions, you can contact us at info at FariousFamilyLaw.com or you can call us at 508-675-0464. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to our channel and share this with anyone you think might benefit from it. And you can also find us on Facebook at Farious Family Law. Thank you. Have a good day.